So we're back at the lake house. Deck's all done and some of the locals came and took out some of the windows. They want to take out a few more before I actually do the demo. Faced a few delays here with uh, our asbestos testing and the consultants involved. It took a couple weeks to get that resolved. I got the guys coming here today to get started on containing the area that we found asbestos in. So we got to get that taken care of prior to actually demolishing. Um, the section of the house on the right to from here to here was added on in the 90s. That's all free. This is the area of the house that contains the asbestos. It's in the attic. And what they're going to have to do is contain this whole area in order to contain any, any air movement within this section of the house. Contain the stairwell opening back into here, off this room. Essentially, they want to keep any asbestos in this space in a controlled environment. Air monitoring will also be performed as a part of the process just to ensure that it's being done to WorkSafe BC standards. And of course, this is where I decided to throw most of the waste from salvaging the deck. So now I got to get this cleaned out of here just to make it a little safer for them to work in here. So I got to get this, this stuff all cleaned out of here for them today and just uh, secure this area of floor as well. Cover this back up with some sheathing and they should be good to go to get started on this today. Okay, so we got this all cleaned up, floor patched up for them, railing put across that opening, insulation removed out of the wall so that doesn't have to be worried about, uh, so we don't have to be worried about that being contaminated with the asbestos. Got it all cleaned out for them. Next time we come in here, we'll be looking at uh, It'll look like an episode of Breaking Bad, most likely. So back at the lake house, we've got our asbestos abatement company here set up to remediate the asbestos that we found in the ceiling. We have, uh, the testing was completed and we found vermiculite in the ceiling. So they're all set up here to get this taken care of over the next few days. Some water for them for their shower. Unfortunately, it's frozen. We got a heater coming this morning as well. Temperatures have dropped on us this week. Go in through the their clean rooms here. Ooh. Into the shower. Put quite the setup. Into the space. And they got this all contained as well. So this is the area that we have to deal with the asbestos and um, got it all prepped up, ready to go, and they're gonna get started on the remediation today. This will take two to three days for this part, and then we have to do air monitoring and uh, obtain a clearance for the building to be asbestos-free. And then this room over here is just to store the garbage. Temporarily, until it is deemed to be clean, so once that's all done, they will uh, toss it in the bin outside and it's got to wait a day, or so, a day or so for our clearance report and then we can actually get moving and tear it down with this uh, excavator out here. Demo is in full swing. 
It's always interesting to see the building come down. It's always important to know how it goes together too so you can safely safely demolish it. It's always best to make it fall in on itself. It's struggling a little bit with reach with this machine, but based on the walkout side of the house. The drone up in the air and trying to capture bits and pieces of this process for anybody who's never actually seen it. So it's kind of cool. We did salvage quite a few components out of the house. Although, I'm not sure if I mentioned it or not, but the house, the house had been flooded on two separate occasions and it was not in the best of shape on the inside. On the inside of the house. That was loud. Wait, he was stuck and now he's not. We've got everything uh, mostly cleaned up. Just a couple more bucket fulls here to, in a small trailer load. All the concrete's left for now. I was hoping to save this wall and this other wall because they're newer construction, but unfortunately they both have large cracks. Go straight through. So it's just not worth it to keep these because the new design of the house, of the new house that's gonna be here is in that same location. So, but unfortunately for warranty purposes and the cost uh, to potentially fix that later if there's an issue. It's just just not not the right way to go with this, um, especially with new home warranty. They won't approve of it either, so it is what it is. We'll take that, take that out as well. Just gotta run it past the clients and make sure they're aware of what's happening. But the concrete is going to be recycled, so that's why we're separating it from the rest of the waste from the house. So I've completed as much of the demolition as I can for now until I can get another truck here to haul all this concrete out. There's still some bits of the foundation in place on this side, which was the newer construction. Whoa. Which is all, all demolished. 
I talked with the owners um, in regards to not being able to save those couple walls. So we're going to pursue the option of just placing the building a little bit differently on the property now. Um, we might move it a little bit closer towards the waterfront. We got lots of room up front. It'll help us with room for our septic field. Potentially help them with the view. They do have a really nice view here. So all the concrete's gone. Got that all taken away over the weekend. As a result of not being able to save the foundation walls, we are gonna move the house a little bit more towards the lake. We're going approximately 10 feet towards the lake. And it's been pretty dry, but I do have some water that I'm gonna to try to pump out of here, get rid of. It's not the most ideal conditions to be digging for your footing. <laughs> 